ladies and welcome to week three of our letter videos while we are all um, under lockdown. Uh, so this week I decided to do a little class focused more on spinning and turns because that is something that a lot of people ask me to do and it's often a struggle and it's not very often explained in the classes or explained very well spinning technique so as i said before it's one of those things that people really struggle with and a lot of the time it's either because they haven't been taught how to do it correctly or the second thing is as well that you actually need to practice and spend some time doing it so if you're just going to watch this class and not do it that's not going to be really helpful for anyone if you're going to watch this class and do it once then again your technique is not really going to improve as much as you would expect so what i would suggest really try to put this little drill into your weekly routine because it really is going to improve your dancing loads when it comes to spinning and having control over your spins so first exercise i want you to think of is just think about your posture when you're spinning so i'll do this facing this way and um, Especially if you're wearing heels, it's going to be much more challenging because you have got to have much more control over your body. Uh, so think about, first of all, making sure you've got the weight on the bottom of your feet and the heels are just slightly over the floor. So think about, first of all, just dropping your weight a little bit down, bending your knees gently, and then just lifting your heels a little bit and then putting them back down. Now, what should not happen is that you should not be coming up with that and you should really try to get some control of your landing gash, shall we say. So if you've got this sorted and having your weight just above the balls of your feet, think about as well the placement of your arms. So they should just be in your frame in front of you, in front of your belly button. Think about as well having them even because often what happens to us, we have one side that's a little bit lazy or we might be a little bit collapsing on one side. And it is really going to be affecting your balance. So check yourself in a mirror if you have got a mirror or film yourself and just notice if there is one elbow that likes to drop <laughs> um, or if you just favor that one neck a little bit. So that's just a couple of little checklists you need to go through before you even start thinking about doing this spinning. Second thing, think about when we spin, we always need to find our axis. So what I mean by that, there's always going to be one leg that's going to be on the floor and the other one is just going to be slightly off and that one doesn't stay on the floor what you shouldn't do is to push from it what you shouldn't do is switch halfway through you'll be surprised how many people actually spin one way but change the legs to their favorite leg so if i'm going to be spinning to the right i need to have my weight on my right leg so you can just test that out make sure that you can balance on that one leg and then you can change that around the other leg that's it and add the arms and just notice that those one side that is more wobbly which is my left <laughs> and there you go and just test yourself you know this is very important that you can do this if you want to be spinning around on that one leg um so the thing i'll always start with is just very basic quarter turns but making sure that you do them correctly so what i mean by that is that I start facing you, but then you can just reverse it. So if you think about going to the right, you want to have your weight on your right leg. And all I need you to do for a quarter turn, which is not very much, is just think about slightly opening up from your rib cage here. So you create a little bit of tension, but it's very small because we're only doing quarter turn. And then just using that stretch to bring you around. So it's your left arm and that closing of that stretch here that's going to help you bring you around. And I'm still staying on my right leg. I put the foot down at the end, but I'm not pushing from it. And then again, repeat that a few times. Just doing quarters. And if you notice, I'm trying to keep my arms level. And then you repeat the same to the left, which is the side we often do not actually practice or do not spin very often in partner work. So the same applies, your weight is now on your left. I have my arms nice and level. I've got my weight on the ball of my foot of my left leg. And I just open slightly to the right from my upper body. I'm not trying to open up too much. And then literally just breathe. <laughs> just, if you take that breath, 
with you and you really test yourself and you'll see how much power or how little power you actually need to get round. So those will be your quarters. Then you can move on if this is working well for you for your heart. So I'm just going to do two to each side. But again, the same thing applies. You're not trying to do double the amount of power because you're already moving. So you just need a tiny bit more just to keep the momentum going. So you're not trying to double up the power you use. So again, think about prepping. If I'm spinning to the right, my weight's on my right and I'm prepping to the opposite direction, which is my left. So just a little prep and a half. And then again, I'll just do two. That's it. Good. And then go to the left. So again, you open to the right. I'll just end it facing this way. So you open to the right, turn, go over to the left. So I open to the right to go to the left. So actually in this case, my left was more stable than my right, which is just funny how it works that sometimes one thing works better than the other. And then you do exactly the same for three quarters. I'm not going to be demonstrating the three quarters because you can just do that at home. But what is very important, you think about just very small increments between those two and just really think about the control. So I want to have control not just over the beginning of the turn, but me slowing down. So that means I'm going to pull up even more from my core and my glutes in order to slow myself down. So what I don't want to see is just kind of you going crazy, opening up, your elbows going way past your body. If I show you going this way, like this is a no-no. And then I'll try to push on my several arms way ahead of my body and I have just lost control over everything. So the arms never go beyond your body, but that also then when you open up, I'm opening up from my body and then I'm just closing that gap. So what I'm not doing is I'm not sending them the arms past my body. Because this is going to be then your spinning frame. I don't want that elbow to go again past my body. It needs to stay in front of me and wherever I go, I go with the elbow with my entire body. So think about the court is having control. Then think about the heart and having control and just notice how much power you really need. And then you can go up to three quarters. And then from the three quarters when you have them, then it's just an extra quarter you need to add for the full spin. Often when I say full spin, remember most people go like, oh my God, it's a full spin and they straight away in their mind start panicking. So if you can do three quarters, then your full is just like a teeny, teeny, tiny bit more. You're nearly there at the three quarters. So for the full spin, nothing changes, but you're just gonna add a little bit of a spotting. So what we mean by spotting is that you start looking at your partner if you're spinning with your partner, and you're gonna keep that focus there until the very last minute when you can flick your head over and actually the head arrives before your body. So if you just practice it a few times, keep looking and come back and then go the other way. So again, keep looking and then just flick at the end. Okay, very good. So you're just gonna add that to your spinning. So again, I'm just gonna show you the full spin. Might be a bit wobbly, I haven't done some heels for weeks now. Um, but let's see what happens. So again, I'm prepping onto my right leg, nice and strong. What I don't want to do is to sink into that hip. I want to be right above that axis. This is where I'll be spinning. I need to be there and ready. Okay, let's see if we can do a full spin for me to the right. Ooh, <laughs> a little bit wobbly. And then go to the left. Ooh, a little bit too much. There you go. So again, if you notice my spinning to the right actually was weaker than my left, which is interesting. So just notice which side is your better one and then obviously work on that side that's a little bit weaker. Now just a couple of adjustments which you can do is I'll find if people have unruly arms and they, their arms are trying to do too much is to lock your elbows together just like this. And then try to keep those elbows together. So if I want to go for it, let's say just a half or a quarter, I'm um, literally just make sure to open, you know, I can't just take that one arm away. It's just not going to be possible. And it also help you, helps you with having um, that evenness. So you'll straight away notice that one of your sides is dropping if you keep your elbows up here. So I'll just show you for the sake of the exercise, I'll too much power. 
and I'm not seeing going the other way. Um, there we go. Okay, so there's our little adjustments. Um, and think about obviously when you're spotting, you're spotting up at your partner's height. You're not looking, well, even above your partner's height if he's shorter than you. Uh, but what you don't want to do is to bring your head down because your head is very heavy and it really is going to affect your balance. If I keep my focus down and then I try to spin, the chances are that I'm going to fall forwards wherever my head is leading. Um, second thing what sometimes happens is the other option that ladies bunch too much through their back and then they end up falling backwards after their spin. So let me try that. <laughs> so thing really mirror is your best friend or your friend or your video and really check and pay attention to the list of details because just remember what I always say is the little things that you do consistently that's going to make a massive difference. It's not the fancy arms, it's not fancy footwork, it's just having control and awareness of your body. So give it a go, spend some time on it, incorporate these little things into your routine weekly or twice a week if you can and I'll promise you that you'll start noticing difference in just like a matter of weeks.